Good afternoon. If you are able, would you please stand for the national anthem? Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glow, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. <laughs> Good afternoon. First of all, I want to alle alleviate any fears. We have the most wonderful thing of running out of programs, but never fear. I have an amazing team, and they're going to be coming back with some more so that every participant, every audience member will have a program. So when that ever happens, she's going to magically appear, and we are going to just have you raise your hand and let us know, and I've got a bunch of really great able-bodied young folks up here in the front that are going to come pass them out real fast, okay? Um, my name is Kate Tombaugh. I am uh, born and raised in Streeter. I'm a professional mezzo-soprano, and I am the founder and executive director of Poco a Poco in its seventh year in Streeter, Illinois. We have loads and loads of people to thank, so you will hear me talk plenty today. But I do want to make sure that I break it up because there's so much great music. But also, this um, Summer Music Fest in its seventh consecutive year does not happen without a ton of people coming together. Um, and so I want to make sure that we, you know, at the end of our eight-day festival, make sure that we say thank you to all those people. The first people I'd like to thank, um, he could not be here in person today, but his name is well known around town, Bob Deacon and the Deacon Family Foundation. They have done so much for our community. And since 2018, his foundation has been sponsoring all Streeter area students, covering five sixths cost of um, like student attendance, not tuition, that's slightly different, slightly different number. Um, has been sponsoring Streeter area students since 2018. And so I want to make sure that we say thank you. And he's also partially sponsoring today's concert. Um, those students are Elizabeth Davis, Lucas Fraga, Ezra Gore, Olivia O'Nash, Kirsten Peterson, Aidan Radke, and Danielle Sterner. And they are representing North Lawn, Woodland, Streeter High School, and St. Michael's the Archangel Schools today. Thank you, Deacon Family Foundation. <laughs> We also have a representative today from the Illinois Prairie Community Foundation. This is a foundation that is based in Bloomington Normal, but has a long reaching arm of people that they help and support. I was actually able to attend their nonprofits workshop in the fall, and several of their members have helped, and they, they want to mentor young startup nonprofits like ours. And one in particular, Del Sam, is here today, and we want to thank them for their $3,000 $3,006 sponsorship this year. Thank you. And just in case I didn't communicate it, because it's festival week, make sure that you stay, because we want a picture. OK. Um, without further ado, we have some great music for you today. Uh, we have our two seniors 
Um, Emily Swanson and Corinne Francis, they're both representing Ottawa Township High School this year. This is Emily's second year, and this is Corinne's fifth year as a young artist. She started with us as a little bitty eighth grader. So we're thrilled to have them come up and you get to hear their solos today. Desert me, don't turn back now that we're here. People always say life is full of choices, no one ever mentions fear. Or how the world can seem so vast on a journey. Step at a time, one hope, then another. Who knows where this road may go? Back to who I was, on to find my future things. My heart still needs to know. Yes, let this be a sign, let this road. Jenny's afraid of water. A 
mean, she swims so well, but still she's afraid of water. So she won't go near the sea. I mean, she sleeps and all, but still, she's afraid of darkness. So when the lights are out, she has to hold my hand. I don't understand. I'm not afraid of anything. Be it mountains, water, dragons, dark or sky. So this week, we, oh my goodness, we started on Saturday, June 10th, and we welcomed our high school young artists. We welcomed our junior high students for the first time ever. We had our inaugural batch of junior high kiddos this year, and we'll talk about that more in a second. Um, we welcomed our community choir members and all of our instrumentalists coming from all over. Um, I mean, it's just remarkable, really, how the community of musicians and, and people that we've worked with just keeps growing and the energy and the momentum just keeps growing every year. At the 
As of today, I can say we have served 87 students from 32 schools across four states. pretty cool. Um, I don't want to take away your thunder. Were you going to introduce this? Because this? I was going to say this is the perfect summer music festival <laughs> song with a little help from my friends. Amen. Hey, this is a perfect time. Emily, everybody, this is Emily. <laughs> yeah, give them to all the young people. So if you do not have a program, raise your hand high and one of our students will bring it around to you. Emily made the really beautiful, fancy program festival book. If you wanted to know who that was, that's her. No, 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 like give it to, give a stack to a child or a young adult and have them go to the people in the audience. <laughs> it's okay, that's good. All week long, I realize when I'm communicating well and when I'm not, this is good. Um, yeah, so with a little help from my friends, for sure, I hope that you will take time to look through the program festival book, see all the people that have come together, and then when you think about all the people throughout the year and all the people specifically during festival week of the last seven years, it's remarkable. Um, and truly, we would not be here without, you know, amazing people, Larry and Kathy Tombaugh, Park Church, Moron Main hosting us, Streeter Township High School Auditorium, Mark Fulkerson in the back, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. And you're all here because probably we have to thank you too. So thank you to everybody. I really do have such a great team. I have a great team here locally and regionally that helps me throughout the year. And then I have a great team of people that comes in and helps does this, and this song could not be more fitting for the, the theme of everybody that comes together to make the festival happen.
if one of your students is in our Young Artist Program or our Junior High Program, these, this is just a small sampling of the people that they've been getting to learn from this week. Private voice, private piano, private theory, private guitar, and we've had presentations on Baroque style from music from the 1600s, and we've had a vocal health class. Come on up. And we've had, oh gosh, Anya gave us a, an exclusive piano performance of the piano jury. She had just done at Northwestern for school, like the day before she came here to be with us. <laughs> um, I love, I love talking about Poco a Poco. I actually, every time I start a conversation with somebody, I tell myself internally, only talk about it if they ask and try to m minimize it to five minutes. So, but just know that don't ever be bashful about asking me about Poco a Poco. And also, I am not bashful about talking to people on the phone. Give me a number, might not know who I'm calling, but I can talk to them. So I've encouraged, I've convinced a lot of parents to let their kids come and be a part of this program through random numbers that I get, yep. Um, I don't wanna put her on the spot, but we've had two of our alums come back this week. Um, Erin Daniel from Ottawa Township High School was able to join us at the Coffee House concert. She is studying vocal performance at Luther in Iowa. Eden Byer is going into her junior year in vocal performance and music education at Western Illinois University. And it just goes to show, I love going to schools. I love talking to the choral programs, the band programs, but I especially love getting to talk to the whole student body. Because believe it or not, we are all trying to build back after COVID and there might be a student in that school that's not yet involved in music that doesn't even realize they wanna be. And if I can be a little part of that motivation, maybe even bring them into the fold, I love doing that. So if you have that ability to help me do that, we can be friends. Um, in 2019, I was coming down I-39 and I thought, okay, end of the school day, where can I go in the next 20 minutes? And I was like, I'm gonna stop by Dwight High School and Eden just happened to be in choir. Her choir teacher didn't know I was coming, but the secretary let me into the room anyway. And it was less than 12 hours, less than like five hours before the deadline, and she applied, and she did four years with us. This is Eden.
and Broadway stars and fur coats that cost a fortune, so I'm told. I guess I'd look nice in diamonds and a sable's my to my charms. But if someone I don't care for should buy them, I'd rather have to love So um, I didn't grow up, obviously, I'm, well, not obviously, but I did not grow up singing opera, even though that is probably the majority of where my professional gigs lie. Um, I grew up, actually, I did some things on this stage with Bud Wall's Hospital Show. That's kind of a cool memory. Um, grew up doing musical theater at Inga Lane, grew up singing in my mom's church choir, all sorts of stuff. But I think anybody that knows me as an adult, maybe they assume because I'm the executive director, we are just a vocal festival. But really, um, it's my firm belief that regardless of what students wanna do on in life, our main goal is just creating um, the ability, giving them the tools, giving them all sorts of new ideas so that they can create a lifelong experience in the arts. Some of them might go on to be music educators, some of them might go on to be professional performers, some of them might want to be able to sing in a community choir, conduct their church choir, play the organ, whatever it might be. And we are not exclusively a vocal festival. Um, I mentioned we had guitar lessons this week, we had theory, we bring in all sorts of things just because I feel like, um, you know, giving them lots of opportunities and exposing them to new things makes it that much more possible to have a sustainable and a lifelong experience with music and the arts. Um, and I want to thank Asher Taylor Schrader. For the second year in a row, he's been with me trying to start this string ensemble. And um, we're still figuring out, like, the, the vibe of, you know, guitarists. Like, what is it we're not, we're not doing quite right? But we imported him in from Louisville, Kentucky, and he put together this great, um, unusual string quartet for you today.
Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Emily Yoakum Black, and as uh, the young artists who are doing our musical theater scene come on up and sort of get uh, set in place, um, I uh, this is my first year uh, on faculty at Poco a Poco, and I am just so so thrilled to be here. Um, it's been an incredible week. It's been fast and furious. Um, we've I've. Uh, gotten to teach a couple of uh, musical theater classes this week, and uh, this is the second of two. And this group of amazing young artists learned this in about an hour and 15 minutes total of rehearsal. They got the music on Thursday. We rehearsed for 30 minutes. Uh, we had 45 minutes of rehearsal yesterday to put all of this together. And then uh, they had about 20 minutes on stage to just kind of go through it a few times and uh, mirror it because we were exiting in the in the different way you all uh we need a little help at the end of this song so uh i'm going to ask if you don't mind we're gonna use your voices for the very last goodbye if you're familiar at all with the sound of music the von trapp children sing this song at the end of a party they're about to go to bed and the whole party guests say goodbye at the very end and i would like for you to do that so this song is in c major <laughs> And they sing, goodbye, goodbye. And then they sing, goodbye. And I would like for you all to sing, goodbye, or goodbye, or whatever you might want to in a C major chord. So let's practice that. They're about to sing. They sing, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> so, I think you're going to know when it is, um, but I'll sort of be down front and do a big old cue to help everybody out. This is So Long Farewell from The Sound of Music.
We've got a whole lot more great music coming up. All of our different choirs and participants will be coming up. But consider this your seventh inning stretch. Stand up. The bathrooms are in the back there. We'll give you like five minutes. <laughs> stretch your legs. All right, welcome back. I'd like to introduce to you our festival choir. This is our choir made up of our high school aged young artists and a good amount of our faculty. Um, we have the great fortune of um, having Dr. Shelby Wall Fouts. Her name is not, um, not new to a lot of you. Uh, Streeter native, grew up here, born and raised in Streeter. And very luckily, we were able to haul her all the way over from Roanoke, Virginia, where she's the department chair at Hollins University, so she could be here and direct our festival choir and our community choir. And we warmly welcome her back to Streeter. <laughs> Kate said, I'm Shelby Wall Fouts. I currently teach at Hollins University in Roanoke, Virginia, but born and raised here in Streeter, and it is lovely to be home uh, to work with this festival choir and also with the community choir you will hear later in the program. Um, spent lots of time on this stage, right, with the Friends of St. Mary's Hospital group, uh, with my dad and mom, Bud and Jamal Wall, and that group, and out in Inga Lane, right? So this is, this is home to be back in town to do this, um, and thrilled to be here. Kate has put together a wonderful festival right with junior faculty, senior faculty, young artists, um, professionals from all different areas um, of this, of this, uh, sorry, all different areas of subjects, right? Um, we've had guitar lessons and voice lessons and all things happening in Park Church. Um, so it's been lovely to just walk around the building and hear all of these things happening. Um, but these students and faculty got the music uh, last week, right? We started this music on Monday. Monday, 
Monday, this week, right? Uh, so we've had a rehearsal Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and we sang four pieces Thursday night. So they've learned a lot of choir music, plus solo voice music and all sorts of other things this week. But we're doing two of our four pieces. So the first was Here Comes the Sun. And the second piece is called Kid Song, right? If you were at Thursday's concert, you've heard this, but bear with me. Uh, sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star for me. Twinkle, twinkle. There we go. How about bingo? B-I-N-G-O, B-I. Good, awesome. How about the itsy bitsy spider? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. There we go. You're going to hear those um, and, and some others. That was a, an odd version of it. <laughs> um, it's all right. So you'll hear those and others in this song. Um, so please listen, but they're never going to be quite the way we just heard them. All right, here we go. Please enjoy Kid Song with the Festival Choir. This is actually our inaugural year for a junior high training program. 
they joined us on Saturday, June 10th, and came again today, Saturday, June 17th. And just before we were about to start the concert, I had a few of them asking me, is this going to happen again next year? And you know, I didn't tell them this at the time, but they were kind of my guinea pigs in a way just to see. And that is a resounding yes. We are definitely going to do the junior high training program again. We have six students for our very, very first year. Riley Doling, Jaden Leon, Ellie Jones, Melody Real, Mariah Rush, Tyler Whalen, representing Putnam County Junior High, Peru Catholic, and Woodland School. <laughs> and you got to meet one of my coordinators, Asher Taylor Schrader. You got to meet another one, Dr. Shelby Walfouts. This gal here is a very important piece of the Poco a Poco puzzle. She and my mother, Kathy Tombaugh, probably because she can't say no to me, they are my longest running seven year faculty members. They've been with me every single year since the beginning. So when I called Mary and said, hey, what do you think about creating a junior high training program? I'll give you a few ideas and then you run with it. And she said, yeah, I would really love to do that. And when she said yes, I knew we were golden, so thank you to Mary for creating our first ever junior high program. All right, thank you so much. Um, so our junior high program, we had a ton of fun last Saturday doing things from singing to dancing to learning rhythms to learning pitch and solfege. Um, and so thank you to this amazing group of six as the awesome inaugural uh, junior high program. We learned a piece together called Lizela. Lizela is from the Osa culture of South Africa. They mostly reside in the Cape Town area of South Africa and have really wonderful um, singing and songs as part of their culture. Singing is a huge part of Osa culture and it's really involved in like every single event. So we talked about some of the defining features of this culture and this music. Uh, the first being that, and this is true for many African cultures, that the words music and dance are not separate, they are synonymous. And so movement is an, is an incredibly important part of, of performing this music authentically. And the second part that we learned is called uulations, which is essentially like what the, um, the process of saying woohoo and being excited about something. Um, and so you'll hear uulations throughout this piece as well. Uh, their translation is, we are gathered and the spirit is moved, you you late. This is Lizela.
we'd like to welcome up all of our community choir members. So even though the audience will look like it's getting a little smaller, it's okay. We'll balance out, balance each other out. We are all about multi-generational opportunities here. Um, we really do love creating opportunities where, um, you know, faculty are standing next side, uh, developing young artists are standing beside lifelong community member musicians. And we're all about creating those opportunities. Um, so I welcome again Dr. Shelby Wall Fouts and all of our community choir members. And honestly, I didn't do the tally this year to see how many communities we have represented here, but it's a lot. It's a lot, and it's pretty cool. So welcome back to the stage, everyone. This one's Mary. This is Mary. This is Shelby. I'm getting tired.
And I know we've got some awesome shuffling on the stage. So there's just a few things that I want you to kind of have um, in mind. Um, if you have a festival program book from today, I really appreciate you looking through it and just really paying attention to all the people that have come together. If, you, if it's somebody that you know in your sphere and you can say thank you, please help me do that. Then pass it on to somebody and say, do you know about Poco El Poco? Check this out. Um, we have uh, Christmas, Christmas and Valentine's Day singing telegrams every year as a little fundraiser. We started a really cool event last April that is going to become an annual event called the Poco El Poco Sampler. And it's a bunch of little mini concerts at Park Church, which is kind of our resident space. And uh, there's sampler desserts and visual arts and all sorts of fun things. That's the only thing that we charge for. Everything that we do during the Summer Music Festival is free and always open to the public, and that's made possible to, by all those names that you'll see in the program. Um, young artists, if you know somebody who's entering uh, that's currently in eighth grade starting in the fall through graduated seniors, we encourage them, come and check us out. Come and think about being a young artist. We create an individualized, personalized schedule for every single student according to where they are in their skill sets, what their interests are, what their goals are, and all of that takes, it's, it's a wonderful thing, all of that takes time, which is why applications open January 1st, we do auditions in March, and from there, I kind of decide who I'm gonna bring in as faculty depending on what the needs and the, and the goals are of that year. And like I said, junior high is coming back next year too, so. Be on the lookout for that, and I appreciate you helping spread the word. thank you to our lovely instrumentalists here. So we've got Harry and Nathaniel and Anya and Asher. Please give them a hand. And another one for our soloist, Emily. Wave. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Um, the next song you're going to hear is Crowded Table. And this is a song that talks about who do you want to have at your table? Who do you want to bring together in community? So I challenge you to think about this, right, as you're out here. Um, as Kate was saying, who do you want to bring into Poco? Who can you uh, say, oh, this was great? You know, who can you share that with? And who do you want to be part of this experience? So young artists, who do you want to bring in next year? That kind of stuff. 
So this is Crowded Table. We're joined by Sarah on violin. Uh, so please enjoy, but think about your table and who you want to come with. know everybody's lives are really busy and with lots and tugs of pulls and we're just so grateful that you would come and support the arts, support these fine musicians 
and share your afternoon with us. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I have two lovely assistants, Bailey and um, Reagan and Kara and Kate, four lovely assistants. Um, if they could just stand up and wave their hands. If you have, um, I trust, I know them, they could be, oh, you're all, you're sat together. That's so convenient for me. <laughs> So if you have a free will offering donation that you don't know where to put it, you can trust them with it. If you have anything that you, that you need to get to me and you can't get to me after the concert, you can trust them with it. We do still have a few t-shirts available for $15, royal purple, my favorite, for 2023. And we have a few pins available as well. Those are for two. Thank you so much for being here today. Last uh combined festival choir community choir piece and in the spirit of this event I wanted to read you just a little bit of this text in the name of music I shall sing in the name of music I shall sing of breathtaking wonders and beautiful things I will sing of moon glow and sunrise and stars in the night I will sing of laughter of children and childhood delights I will sing of heartwarming melodies that inspire a song soul-stirring harmonies that resound a lifetime long. Please enjoy In the Name of Music. <laughs> 